On behalf of the Chinese delegation, I would like to welcome the Prime Minister for being present at today's meeting. I would also like to thank you for your statement. I want to make two points. First, the Libyan conflict led to the massive return of people to their homeland and the proliferation of weapons, which has affected the economic and social development of its neighbors and the neighboring countries. This impact might persist for some time. Therefore, we believe that the Security Council should draw lessons from the handling of the Libyan issue. Just now, the Prime Minister of Libya stated that Libya is going to hold a regional conference on the proliferation of weapons. We appreciate this effort and we welcome this development. Secondly, recently the Human Rights Council set up the International Commission of Inquiry. In the report of the Commission, it stated explicitly that the airstrike of NATO of Libya indeed caused civilian casualties. Some of the uh, uh, target of airstrike are not military facilities. The International Commission of Inti uh, Inquiry also suggests that uh, further investigations have to be conducted. This finding is also in line with the reports of some uh, media coverage. China would like to express its severe concern about this. This has a bearing on the accurate implementation of the mandate of the Security Council resolutions. It has a bearing on the authority and the seriousness of the resolutions of the Security Council. And therefore, the Security Council has the necessity to um, understand the whole situation. China supports the efforts of the Security Council to uh, remain seized of the situation and carry out further investigation of this case. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank the representative.